All right, guys, we're going to take a look at the Helsin Sharkmaster 300. And I know this one's going to look familiar. It is certainly a homage watch to the Omega um, that's no longer available for quite some time. So, you know, that could be a good reason to get into a homage watch because you straight up can't get the, the real thing. But whether, you, whether your case is that or if it's actually just because this is a more affordable option, um, although it's still kind of expensive at $749 on the Helsin site. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but it does have the Swiss ETA 2A24 movement. You have a few different dial options, color options, and uh, excellent looking watch. But it also looks familiar to me, certainly because it is very, very similar to the Borealis Estrel. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of that watch. And so... I kind of can't help but compare to that a little bit, only because I was exposed to that long before this one. I'm not sure when the Helsin one came out, but uh, let's just focus on this one, if we will. So it is a 41 and a half millimeter case, excellent size, only a 47 lug to lug with the slight turn down of the lugs and drilled, and 13 and a half millimeter thick, including that like bubble, a little bit of something in there, a little bit of um, uh, bubble to the sapphire crystal. So 13 and a half thick, it would be, well, let's measure it real quick. Minus the crystal, I mean, you're you're looking at, it's only like just under 12. So it's really not that thick of a watch. Some of that's the crystal. 20 mil lug width, and then it also comes on a bracelet, which slightly tapers down. So it's probably a 20 down to an 18. Excellent, excellent bracelet that it comes with. It's completely rounded off, almost like it's like reversible. So it's like mirrored on front and back. So it's super comfortable. It's gonna articulate like crazy. You can see they're all individual links screwed together. Um, double pusher for the uh, release of the all milled out clasp. And it also has this little feature here where you can do the onboard dive extension, three micro adjust. So really good bracelet that they include with it. This one also came in with a vanilla flavored uh, very flexible and comfortable tropical style strap. So that also came with that. Um, it does have hollow end links. I was a little confused on that. Not a deal breaker for me. You guys know um, some of the bracelets, some of my most favorite bracelets actually even have hollow end links. Once it's on and it's fitted properly to the watch case, um, in many cases you can get a better looking fit with the hollow end links because you can tweak them a little bit. Um, but so it's not a deal breaker. It's just I'm a little a little surprised to see that with this particular watch. I didn't mount the bracelet. I actually threw it on this Toxic NATO. This is the Shiznit one. Um, I think it matches it really good with the all black with the matching brushed hardware. So I'm going to toss it on wrist with that. But you're going to have a really good loom application. And then you also have a nice loom on the bezel insert because it is a sapphire covered insert so you're going to be able to keep that loom it's going to maintain it better from my experience screw down crown obviously signed with the 300 meter water resist it's going to hack and hand wind and then a quick date change all that good stuff I'll give you a look at the case back here because there is a fancy little shark engraved on there so that's always nice too you can see that guy there with a little bit of information, the ETA 2824, of course, the Shark Master, and this is number 65. I'm not sure how many they made. Uh, if you go to the Helsin website, um, there are still of, of, uh, models available, both blue and black dial, and this is called the 12 hour one, meaning that there's a, well, this is a date 12 hour, so I think you can get a no date, and it'll be a 12369. And then there's also the big triangle one, which a lot of people gravitate towards because it's just a much larger um, loom plot with the 12. So uh, another thing I have to I have to mention. Now I seen some marks. Uh, big thanks to James for lending this in. This is his watch, but it must have took a couple of hits around the bezel. So maybe that is gonna affect this, but the bezel action on this is, in my opinion, kind of bad um i mean it works it's 120 click and there's like zero play and it lines up good but it's just the tactile feel of it just is not pleasant it feels borderline gross i don't know um but it but it works so i mean it's not it's not like it doesn't feel defective it just 
doesn't feel nice. I don't know how else to explain it. So, but that may be brand new from Helsin. Maybe it's not like that. Maybe something happened under James' care. Um, like I said, it's not it's not destroyed or anything. It's just uh, I've operated better bezel actions. So uh, let me pop this guy on wrist real quick. I struggle with NATO sometimes, so bear with me. And I'm not going to edit this out. So this is in real time. All right. So there it is on my seven and a quarter wrist. I often wonder why I don't wear NATOs. I do, for some, I, I feel like they're going to grow on me. Like I'm going to just one day, I'm just going to start wearing them and I'm going to wear them all the time. I don't know. Maybe that'll actually happen. I'm not sure. But I think this is a perfect match for this watch. If you are into NATO straps, um, this watch is definitely going to lend itself to being a strap monster. Um, or even that bracelet's going to be really good. I, I guarantee that. But I feel like this watch could easily be a strap monster too. So, because it's not overly thick in the case design and everything. So, all right, let's get you, let's get a loom shot. You know what, I'll share real quick because I, I just did the video on the uh, Squale GMT 1545 um, and I was wearing it and these two look great together. Like this could be a really killer two watch collection, you know, you'd have your GMT and you'd have your dive watch. And they're, both of them are a little bit different than the norm. The, the, neither of these watches are certainly the Helsin. I don't see a, a ton of exposure with the Helsin Sharkmaster 300. You, you think of Helsin, you think of the, um, uh, what is that model called? Um, you know, the the bigger diver one. Um, you, that's the one you think of. So you don't think of their homage style watches. But this could easily be a really killer pairing right here. So anyway, I figured I'd share that. Let me give you a, a loom shot. Yeah, killer loom. I mean, Helsin, I think, in the micro brand, does some of the best loom. The uh, um, Helsin and Armida are both killer when it comes to that. I'll, I'll try to get some more Armida watches in soon too. But uh, they're both made at the same factory. But both of them are just top-notch one in the loom department there's no disappointment there so anyway guys thanks for watching uh, big thanks to james for lending this in and i'll see you on the next video